Now the first international bank to commit itself to an operation in Iraq in the post-Saddam era is Standard Charter. The CEO for Iraq, Gavin Wishart, joins me now. Why did you come to this decision and what's your message to other companies thinking of getting involved in the Iraq story? I think the, the obvious thing is that uh, Iraq is a huge opportunity um, now and for the, for the long term. And Standard Charter Bank is, is a British bank, but we're an emerging markets bank. Uh, we go to places that many other banks uh, fear. Uh, we uh, see Iraq as a, a challenge, but something that we can deal with. We have at the moment about 70 multinational clients of Standard Chartered Bank that are operating in Iraq right now and they need uh, Standard Chartered to be with them. You talk about fear. Security has to be a factor for anybody thinking of getting involved in Iraq. How have you dealt with it? Yes, security is a very uh, important issue and, and we take it very, very seriously. Uh, we've studied what needs to be studied, we've assessed what needs to be assessed, and we put measures in place uh, that uh, we are quite confident uh, will mitigate the risks to a level that is now acceptable for us. Uh, this is uh, time consuming, it's naturally quite expensive, but it's essential that we do this. And uh, we're at a stage now where uh, we're confident that we can operate, uh, in the way we want to in Iraq. Iraq's whole banking industry is of course in its infancy, so what are the opportunities for banks such as Standard Chartered? Well the immediate opportunities for us uh, are to help with the redevelopment of the country, the reconstruction activity that is enormous. But at the moment in Iraq there aren't the, uh, the capabilities, uh, the experience is not there to help structure the right kind of uh, financing arrangements so that multinational companies and other companies and the government uh, can properly organise the financing arrangements uh, for the development which is so desperately needed. So long term financing is a, is a major challenge but the government um, also needs to, uh, to learn new techniques that haven't been in place in Iraq in the past. Uh, they're very keen to do so. Uh, we want to be a major part of that process of bringing the government uh, and other parts of the economy uh, to, to a stage where they can actually raise finance internationally. Forgive me, but obviously as a bank, like all businesses, you're there to make money. So getting in at the ground, how do you think that's going to help you? Well, certainly we're there to make money, but uh, for us, this is not a short-term thing. We aim to be in Iraq for the long term. Um, short-term profits are not really of great interest. We need to make money uh, and we will make money. But our objectives are the long term. We want to build a sustainable business that is good for Iraq, good for Standard Chartered Bank, good for our shareholders, uh, and something that we can be proud of, that we've done the right things, we've invested wisely, uh, we've uh, used our resources in a measured, uh, and structured way so that we don't take undue risk that we can't manage. So yes, we're in it for, uh, for, for the long haul, we will make money, but the, the long-term the long objective is to be uh, a force for good in Iraq, to change the dynamics in the financial services sector, and we can do it. Just finally, when you talk to other businessmen here at the conference, what is your key message to them? I think the key message is, yes, there are challenges, but if you assess each different uh, area carefully, uh, you consider it and decide how to react to the, to the difficulties and the problems, you can get through it. We are confident that we've uh, got a base now in Iraq that will give us a, a very good foundation to grow for the future. Um, I, I think every company uh, should go through that uh, process of assessment. It's taken us several years to do so and some people have complained it's taken us too long. We don't think so. We think we've done the right thing by, by taking time to get through all of these issues uh, and find solutions to them. So we're now ready to roll. Uh, we open in Baghdad on the 27th of November, um, which will be our headquarters and our first branch in Iraq. Uh, we will open other branches in Erbil uh, towards the end of this year and Basra hopefully by June next year. Uh, and we're really looking forward to this opportunity. Gavin, thank you and the best of luck.